Hi, I'm Kevin Lynch and this is Apple's new iPhone 3GS and I'm going to take you through some of the main new features. Okay, first up is the new camera. Now it's a big improvement on what's gone before with the iPhone. It's got 3 megapixel resolution. Um, it's also got auto focus and auto white balance. Best of all though, it's got a really neat tap to focus. Very Blade Runner-esque, it allows you to tap on an object or a person and then the iPhone focuses in on that particular subject and adjusts the focus and it also adjusts the light balance. There's also a pretty cool auto macro mode. It hasn't got a flash which is probably the major downside with the camera and it's not probably something you'll use as a replacement for a compact camera, but it is a big improvement on what's gone before with the iPhone. Moving on to what I would consider the best new feature on the iPhone 3GS, and that is the new video camera function. Um, not something that's appeared on an iPhone before, a uh, bit of a glaring uh, omission really, um, even, even the most bog standard of camera phones have this feature but it's a welcome addition, really intuitive. It shares the same tap to focus functions as the camera. But what's really good is it's got video editing capabilities for you to trim the start and end of clips on the fly. You can also upload to YouTube directly from the phone. And if you've got an Apple Mobile Me account, you can do it there as well. As you can see, the quality is actually pretty good. Probably good enough actually for you to discard your creative Vado or even your flip portable video camera. One perhaps slightly less useful but no less cool new feature is the new voice control system. Basically you hold down the home button for a second or two and you're given a prompt. Play Stevie Wonder. One other new thing under the hood is a new built-in compass. There's a little app for it here, which is all well and good, but it really comes into its own when you use it with Google Maps. Now, obviously, the last iPhone had a GPS uh, receiver inside, but this takes things a little bit further. As well as pinpointing your place on the map, it also pinpoints your orientation. So if you move, the map moves accordingly with it, and it's really, really useful and gives you one less excuse for getting lost. OK, so that's a quick run through of some of the key features of the iPhone 3GS. Log on to mirror.co.uk forward slash technology for my full review where you can also check out some sample videos and pictures taken with the device.